Hello there, uh, welcome to my third Blender tutorial. Sorry it's been a while since my last tutorial, but I've been rather busy with one thing or another. Um, anyway, this tutorial is about getting um, instance geometry through a particle system to follow the contours of uh, your mesh um, and pointing all in the right direction. Um, anyway, so I'll start off with the uh, geometry I want to instance. So when you make your uh, um, model you want it to be um, uh, up to be the y y positive axis axis even sorry um, so you can see here it's led down flat this is in the top orthographic view um, so I've made this little flag with a um, arrow so you can see w which direction it's pointing in right okay so uh, here I've got a cylinder that I have um, sliced a number of times with control R uh, so I can deform it and show you what happens with different settings um, so first of all I'm going to add a particle system uh, obviously change it to hair if you want to add instance geometry click advanced um, add the object or if you have you can add a group which is usually better because you get a better um, detail with more than one object um, and then I'm going to choose my little pointer flag, uh, click rotation, um, and then I want to click on rotation up here. By default, it's velocity here. Uh, and right, okay, so a lot of tutorials I've seen on YouTube or elsewhere, um, a lot of people say to choose one of these, either the object or the global, one of those settings. But I find um, it's it sticks out from the geometry in odd angles and sometimes can look quite jagged. And if you're doing branches on a tree or growth from a stem of a, a plant, it, it looks unnatural. So first of all, I tried using normal and I'll show you there is a problem with that. So it first looks, it, at first it looks okay. So you click on normal, put your face to 0.5, so it all points up and you can see they're all pointing up. I'm gonna reduce actually the number of particles to a, 20 no 40 so you can see what's happening right okay um, so if I go into edit mode and uh, shift W for a simple deform I'm going to bend the mesh okay Whoop. there we go that will do tab out of edit mode right okay so here we go you can see on the particles that like this one here that on the uh, the normals or the faces that are uh, moving or pivoting away or towards the um, uh, the instance geometry um, you can see that it, it looks fine it's pointing in the same direction as its face but if you come to the side faces these um, instances are still pointing straight up and if there's a sort of an oblique well, I don't know if an oblique is the right word but a uh, uh, face or a normal that's in sort of halfway one way and halfway the other they're kind of yeah halfway between one and the other they're not looking yeah, they look, don't look that great um, I think this would be fine if you wanted all your say you had a, a, a tree or a shrub where the branches you wanted the branches to start all, all point upwards I mean, some, some plants grow like that, some don't, then yeah, th this would be fine. But um, it doesn't, um, it's not doing what I want it to do. <laughs> so um, to sort this out, uh, we're going to use um, normal tangent. Uh, some of you probably know this already, but I only found this out a few days ago. Uh, I'm gonna turn phased back to zero. Um, yeah, only found about this a few days ago. Um, but <laughs> I've been using Blender for about three years, but uh, I haven't really been delving that much into particle systems, so that's my excuse. So anyway, here we go. You can see the um, normal tangent by default, they're pointing a peculiar direction. Now what this does, uh, it relies on your UVs, so we have to unwrap the object. So um, let me just put a uh, marker seam here and select the whole thing and new unwrap and tab back into object mode and now they're all pointing the right direction um, and you can see on any surface 
they're following the, U the UVs. And what you can do when you're packing the UVs, uh, you can still rotate the uh, rotate and scale um, each UV island, uh, so you can fit it on your your um, image texture. Uh, um, but the uh, the instance geometry will still follow the right direction this this way. Uh, so that's um, good to remember. And um, it looks good with branches too. So let me just change. I made a little branch. Let me just um, change this to branch. Yeah, put the normal up so the you can see them better. Um, and you can obviously you want this to look a bit a little bit random. So just change the randomness up a little bit. Uh, all these are the same objects, so they, it doesn't look that random. And let me just smooth the smooth the cylinder as well. It doesn't look like a trunk; it just looks like a metal bar that's been bent. But you get the idea with the branches on there. So, yeah, that's how you get your instance geometry to follow um, your particle system instance geometry, or your groups to follow the contours of your mesh. Uh, yes, hope this has helped someone. Uh, thank you very much. Bye.